there's nothing like the smell of freshly picked and crushed and cut herbs straight out of the garden and into your cooking. Late April, early May, that's the time of year we start thinking about planting out herbs. Even if you've got a very, very small garden, you can grow a lot of herbs and uh, the closer they are to the house, the more useful they will be for you for cooking, for nipping out in the middle of your recipes without burning things on the stove. There are two main categories of herbs. One are the annual and biennial herbs that we usually just grow for one year. Sometimes it's because they're tender and sometimes it's just because they're annuals. So parsley, for example, although it will overwinter and live for a second year, it starts to get woody and really you're better off planting out a parsley plant each year and you get much more fresh, soft, um, young growth on it, better for cooking. And then this one here is dill. It's an annual, it lives for one year and then it sets seed and once it dies back in the winter, that's the end of it and you have to start again. The other herbs are the perennial herbs, the ones that go on from year to year. The biggest one is bay tree. This uh, is a relatively hardy plant as long as you don't live too far from the coast. Just be careful if you've got this in a pot, uh, the roots are quite sensitive if you get cold winter, you need to protect them. Other perennial herbs are things like mint. Most people probably know if they've tried growing mint, it's pretty rampant. If you plant it in the garden, it tends to end up swamping everything out. So a clever way to do it is to plant it in a big pot and then sink the pot into the ground um, and that way it stops the roots running through everything else. Obviously you can grow it in a container. But many other perennial herbs here. This is marjoram, oregano and marjoram. They're very closely related. Uh, this dies back in the winter, so you can't collect foli leaves off it in the winter time, but it will come back. It's perfectly hardy, uh, very easy plant. Uh, it's not invasive, um, but it spreads fairly, fairly steadily. Another really easy one, are chives. Uh, very, very tough. And when you get a plant like this, you could actually divide it up. You could probably divide that pot into um, five or six little chives patches and you can harvest them almost all the year round. It's a very good plant. The one group of herbs that are a little bit tricky in Scotland but maybe the most popular herb of all is basil. The trouble with basil is it's unbelievably tender. It hates cold winds. Uh, if it gets anywhere near freezing at night you'll lose it. If you want to grow basil I really recommend the easiest way to do it is to keep it indoors or to buy a, a plant of basil probably in June and July and you could just about pop it out in the garden if we get a nice warm summer. But uh, ba basil and tarragon, those two Mediterranean staples, unfortunately are not ideal for Scotland. But most of the rest are absolutely fantastic and it's much cheaper for the same price that you would buy a, a little potted herb in a supermarket which you'd harvest for two weeks. You can buy uh, a, a plant like this that you can grow for a couple of pounds um, you can plant that and harvest it all the way through the summer, so it's definitely good value. If you don't have a garden, don't worry, there are all sorts of different ways of growing herbs in containers. This is a little, clever little raised bed here. It has a lid, in case of frost you can pop the lid on. Uh, you must remember to take it off because it'll get like a furnace in there in the summer if you leave it on, but it's, uh, it's quite useful when you're starting things off. You can also grow herbs from seeds. Um, the only thing about seeds is if you, don't, you end up buying a packet of seeds for a couple of pounds but you only really need one, you're going to end up with an awful lot of extra herbs. Maybe you can swap them with your friends. Uh, this is quite a clever idea. This is to fit over a balcony uh, on a rail. You slot it in here and then you plant your herbs in, in this. Um, this is a clever little single herb pot and what you do is you fill this up with compost and then you plant the herbs so that they stick out the sides. Um, like this, it's a way of getting a lot of herbs into a tiny space. It does take a little bit of looking after this. And the thing about these herbs is the more you harvest them, the bushier they get and the more herbs you get. So um, don't be frightened to keep nipping off the tips of the, of the herbs and harvesting them, even when they're small, because it just make, encourages them to get bushy and you get more to harvest. If you want any more information about herbs, I recommend, this is the book I, that I wrote about three or four years ago. It's got a, a section on herbs both annual and perennial, and also a small section on edible flowers. And it also includes some of the ways that you can plant herbs and other fruit and vegetables together and use the, the smell of the herbs to protect your vegetables from insect attack.